Tierney from the Semantic Web Company, the uh, vendors of Pool Party. Hi, hello, thank you for inviting me. As Nigel already said, I'm working for Semantic Web Company, I'm a technical consultant, and I'm going to talk about success stories with connected data. Who of you have already been to Vienna? Well, that's where Semantic Web Company was founded back in 2004, and five years later, Pool Party Semantic Suite was released, and now we have over 100 uh, customer installations worldwide. These are just some of the, our customers. Uh, they are coming from industries such as uh, media and publishing, uh, and health and pharma, financial services, um, IT and consulting, and so on. And with the help of our partners, which are uh, available all over the world, uh, they help us integrate Pool Party as a semantic middleware um, in our customers' uh, systems. So, semantic. Uh, uh, pool Party Semantic Suite is a semantic middleware and uh, it's made out of uh, several modules. At its core, and you see the blue modules, are the basic modules that help you with taxonomy, thesaurus management, uh, with uh, ontology management, link data management. And if you need to do so, you can also then uh, take advantage of the modules with help with text mining and entity extraction concept tagging and so on. And configuring these modules then can help you build a beautiful uh, end applications such as recommender systems, semantic search, analytics and visualizations. Today I'm going to focus on success stories and I handpicked three success stories with our customers to go into a bit more detail. The first one being uh, Health Direct Australia. In Australia, it is still common that people have to travel quite some distance dis uh, distances to get uh, medical care and to visit doctors. So their first instinct is basically to search online, see if they find any reliable information to whatever problem or needs they have. Uh, so Health Direct Australia, which is a public company, governmental funded, uh, decided to create an, uh, one single entry portal where people can go and find reliable curated content. Uh, so they integrated with uh, over 100 trusted um, sources to deliver this information to their customers. And uh, two of the main uh, features that they offer on their website is the symptom checker and the medicines catalog which was released this year in February. The symptom checker is a, ca a questionnaire that uh, dynamically um, models their uh, questions based on, based on your previous answers and then it guides you to reliable content. I prepared a short video that uh, showcases basically the website um, and focuses on the medicines catalog which uh, exposes a user-friendly uh, database interface over 7,000 uh, pharma uh, brand products which are um, approved in Australia. And in order for them to be able to do this for their customers, uh, they started off with the Australian Health Thesaurus, which is their vocabulary hub, and then connected with three other resources that uh, contain information about these uh, pharma brand products, about active ingredients. And what you can see happening uh, up here is the basic search. You can search for an active uh, ingredient. I search here for aspirin. And then you can find um, related topics to aspirin and also product uh, names uh, that contain aspirin as uh, active ingredient. And then you can search uh, and read about information of dosage, how to keep the products, and so on. It even gives you results of reliable content that talks about that product or about that active ingredient. And here you can see, for instance, the resources that they've integrated the Australian Health Thesaurus with uh, in Australia. Okay. The next um, success story is the climate tagger. Climate change is a very pressing matter of our generation. Everybody knows about this. But in 2011, 
um, an NGO organization which is actually based in Vienna, RIP, decided to um, come up with a solution of the climate tagger. And um, in the climate domain, you have, to, you have to think about every country has a specific problem. And a lot of NGOs are involved in uh, discussions and uh, development and how to solve the problem regionally as well. But most of these NGOs don't have the budget to take care, for instance, to annotate their content on their website reliably. So the Climate Tagger was developed, and it is basically an um, extraction service, exactly like the one available in Pool Party, but this is uh, specifically for the climate domain. In the video, you will see how uh, the website looks like if you register for an account, you get access to this extraction service. And uh, on the demo page, you can upload a document or you can use a sample text. And then what happens is that uh, the text gets annotated. It extracts basically the concepts. The concepts which are uh, created, managed, and maintained in pool party thesaurus by experts in this domain. The thesaurus is developed in five different languages, so uh, NGOs from different parts of the world can take it and integrate it basically in their systems. The climate tagger is also available as a module, for instance, for Drupal or for WordPress or for Seekan, just ready to take and to use. And the third use case is about Böhringer Ingelheim, which is a, glo a global uh, research uh, company around pharmaceutics. And um, every headquarter publishes basically research uh, uh, publications around pharma. And um, there's, for instance, this uh, person who is the head of, the s head of science in Böhringer Ingelheim. And his task so far was to call everybody around the headquarters, email them, just to find the reliable data and numbers about publications or the actual publications around the globe. So uh, to help him in his work, we developed the Scientific Information Tracking Service, which is a single entry uh, portal where he can search uh, for this information. The input data of the portal are basically publications, title, abstract, affiliation, authors. This data is then mapped into RDF. It's being annotated with our extraction service based on an already curated thesaurus, uh, specifically created for this domain. And then um, uh, the triples themselves, the RDF is stored in a triple store. In this case, uh, uh, it's a Virtuoso Universal Server. And this uh, faceted search application was then designed on top based on uh, Sparkle queries. On the left hand, you have uh, the facets. They are guided from uh, the structure of the thesaurus. So you can search uh, or, or facet down on divisions, on therapeutic areas, on publication year. In the middle, you get the actual publications. Actually, well, you get the abstract or a snippet of the text, uh, a link to it, and immediately under, you see this more like this, possibly. You get then uh, five other research papers which are similar to the one uh, you started from. You can also integrate visualizations. Uh, in the scientific information tracking service at the moment, there are visualizations based on Sparkle queries, such as how many publications do I have per division, per location, per f pharmaceutic area. Uh, and even so, the head of science at Böhringer and Ingelheim can see, for instance, the impact factors um, per these domains and can now reliably decide uh, or target a reasonable impact factor for the next quarter, for instance, in Böhringer Ingelheim. This demo is available uh, with uh, kind of dummy data on our website as well, so you can check it out. And uh, be sure to visit me later also at the booth. You can actually go through the demos yourself on my laptop. 
Well, those were just three of the success stories, but uh, semantic web and linked data and connected data is much more than just that. There are also generic use cases. For instance, topic pages, so you can build uh, um, landing pages on the fly. This is something that we did, for instance, uh, for REAP. Then um, you can also have uh, accurate recommender services based on cementing fingerprinting. We call it matchmaking, which we developed for CTCN, for instance, which is also in the domain of climate technologies. Then, of course, you have uh, data publishing, which is a very generic uh, uh, scenario. With pool parties, it's very easy to make available five-star linked data. This is something that we did, among others, also for the European Council. And another usage scenario is personalization. This is something that we developed, for instance, for Adidas, personalizing user experience based on their brands and their products. And I also have to integrate here a slide about uh, semantic integrator. I talked at the beginning of uh, Pool Party being a semantic middleware. Well, if you use, for instance, all the modules available from Pool Party, then you get the semantic integrator. And this would help you, for instance, to map structured and unstructured data, um, annotate them accordingly. The mapping can be done with the ETL tool that we use called Unified Views, which is open source at the moment. And then you can decide to store this uh, data in a use case specific database, such as MarkLogic, Virtuoso, Ontotext, Graph Database, Stardog, or Apache Solar Index or Elasticsearch Index. And then on top of them, you can uh, build a beautiful, meaningful front end applications, deep data analytics, semantic search, much like the ones I showed before. All of this uh, is available to download, this, uh, to read about it, and even more. There are also demos on our website. You can check it out, poolparty.biz. And make sure to visit me at the stand later so I can show you how it all works. Thank you.